Gigafactory progress for all sites. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. Giga Shanghai. The former temporary office yard, which was cleared last month, has gone from rough footings to having many of them ready for pillar attachment, with more being poured and curing to the south of it. The loading yard, which had just a handful of Model Ys last week, is simply stuffed to the gills this week, and a number of trucks have already been spotted transporting them off-site. Customer deliveries are expected to begin any day if they haven't already. The steel structure at the north end of the Phase 2 building has seen more foundation work and a few more steel frame pieces erected. This building is where the Model Ys are assembled. The large road being added from the east side has a lot of material being placed over what will soon be paved, and the area around the bridge has been excavated to allow water in there, I, I guess? If, if, <laughs> if anyone knows the reasons for these developments, please share them in the comments, because pavement is not my specialty. Because I am scratching my head. The eastward expansion has added a substantial amount of concrete this week. And the work continues. Foundation work continues between Phase 1 and the Battery Building, with some areas again filled to grade. Giga Berlin. There is fast nichts to report, approximately nothing, because the site has been largely dormant for the past couple weeks. Here we're showing not one week of progress, but two, and you'll see there just ain't any. The closest to an official word we can get is that they are indeed awaiting the 100 million euro damage deposit. The site is under construction in advance of the final permit. And, should they not receive it, Tesla will be required to return the property to its original state. Unlike in many countries where this is accepted on faith by the government agencies in charge of it, Germany actually requires cash up front. Tesla has the cash, and it is assumed this matter will be remedied shortly. Mad thanks to Tobias Lind for allowing use of his drone footage. If you haven't checked out his channel, he does fantastic work. Link in the description. Giga Texas New roof sheathing has been added towards the north end of the large steel building. The number of concrete pillars in the northeast corner has doubled from 7 to 14, and additional steel has been brought into this area. You can also see new steel construction here. By the way, I've changed my arrows from red arrows to orange triangles to this, a less obtrusive purple triangle. I hope you like it. If it appears not much work took place in the past week, it's because a storm absolutely soaked the area, creating vast areas of standing water, preventing safe passage for vehicles and equipment, safe working conditions were nowhere to be seen, and making it impossible for any concrete, footing, or foundation work to occur. The concrete batch plant has been closed for days. This stripped several days of work from the calendar and required repairs and rework in addition to draining before work could resume. Totally real lightning effects, by the way, there. Not just, uh, not just a free green screen effect I downloaded. Nope. Mm -mm. So anyway, back to the regularly scheduled programming. In the zipper pit area, we can see a lot of mud and a lot of work being done to fix damage from the rain. In the area we can no longer really call the large pit, the cathedral, the great hall, now has roof decking added to the six remaining spans. More pillars should go up here in the next week, with additional roof decking following almost immediately. If you've been following my weekly Giga Texas Progress Math Update, tomorrow's update is going to be a doozy. 
and I'll start working on it as soon as I finish this one. I mean, I've already got some of it done, but, you know, it's, it's a lot. And if you haven't seen the series, they're worth a look. And I'd love to get more feedback to better refine my timelines and estimates. Perhaps the biggest news of the week is that there are now 20 cranes on site, a few of which are still being assembled. With all these cranes and the delivery of so much new building material, it's likely we'll see the rate of progress increase over the coming week, if not weeks. Did you know only about 30% of the people who view these updates are subscribed? So if you don't want to miss it, consider subscribing, since it's the only way YouTube knows to show you more videos like this. So stay tuned, stay juicy, and I can't wait to hear from you clever robots on the flippity-flop.